and welcome to everybody for the financial talk series which is a financial independence and that's the best part i thought when just now where the independence day has gone we have been uh, celebrated felt happy and we think how we can easily do what you like to do so that's the one thing i thought we will try to do is how we can become a financial independent also that's a very very important part when we are thinking of the financial independence it's on so um let me start with the series where we are trying to say how we can do it so this uh, agenda today is talking about financial planning goal setting and strategy to financial independence so the best part of this uh, webinar which i love to do it is to give an awareness and i believe even 5% or 1% is able to take care of independence that's a life is made so let us start what do you mean by financial independent how you think that uh, you are financially independent or you are financially free so if anybody can write it in a chat or like to uh, speak around it's good enough so i'll give it a maybe a half a minute to talk about that on what base you will decide that you are financially independent so i can see few people are writing which is uh yeah i will speak little bit of hindi of course i my myself is in a north indian so i'll be able to speak but overall we will be in english is it all are able to hear because people have written they are not able to hear can somebody write it sanjay can you hear and let us know it's hearing yes ma'am yes we can hear okay so it's very nice sanjay has uh, there's another sanjay has written the money or investment work for you earn passively very very well said and it is true if you want to purchase something and you're able to purchase manoj i fully agree with you that's what my thought also i believe that when i wanted to purchase something i should be able to purchase without seeing that what is a tag but as long as you know that uh, you are in a your own lifestyle limit so that's a very good uh, thought how to make it so this i'll give you the sim, uh, some examples which is happening in our day to day life or i can say this is my thoughts nothing against somebody so our daughter has gone to the uh, what do you call um, singapore for the higher studies and when we went there she is going to do the wealth management masters and a lot of people in her class she is the youngest and a lot of people average uh, i think so the i can say experience was 7 to 8 years then i was just asking few more people who has gone from india after 8 10 years of experience why you wanted to move to a course which is so costly and you can earn the same after doing the course because your 10 years experience talks more than anything else and they said no uh, ma'am actually the reason is we wanted to come and settle in singapore and so it's easier way to get in and otherwise it's very difficult to get in into a job in singapore or get a visa for the singapore then that made me to trigger quite a lot in my mind why somebody should uh, go anywhere else i'm not saying something is wrong in settling in any country but of course i am a die hard fan of india so i said if somebody asked me to move i may not be able to move and so the debate is going on between two people between me my uh, anil and my husband and smriti uh, one by one so they said why you don't think so so i was explaining them my experience going across the globe when i was working in wipro and infosys of course now apart from vacation when you stay in a vacation you don't know much about the countries so only thing which came in my mind and i felt why you feel happy being back in india whatever they have a good bad ugly in every country you have it the freedom of thoughts and i said the my mind the freedom of thought and the freedom of doing is so high in india than any other country as per me and that's the one reason i will never go and stay in some country okay so that is the the reason i'm telling you this story is the same thing works in a financial freedom 
So when you know that you are able to do what you like to do, and especially being a human person, we are very much linked to our family, our people, the society. We want everybody to be happy. And how to base minimum, we have to take care of financial freedom. And then it comes to the emotion and other part of it. So how to make sure that we are financially freedom or we are financially independent? It comes from the emotion and the feeling that, yes, I am able to take care of my kids if they have what is an education. If I am not having a job after 55 or 60, I will be able to get an alternative income. I have the good lifestyle, what I am been doing. I'm not saying everybody have the very lavish lifestyle. Whatever lifestyle you have, you are able to sustain that, taking care of those. That is the feeling will make you peace of mind to sleep in five minutes. I can tell you that nobody can have it. And what it means for everybody is different. Um, eliminating the debts. Last week, I have uh, one of my very good friend and the customer came back to me. Rachna, I have got the pink slip and I am not sure. He is just 51, but he was earning so good, but his portfolio is very, very low. And I asked how you manage. So he said, no, I earn so much and I spend so much. I didn't invest. Now I don't know what to do because I am in a such a stage where higher uh, salary slab people are not getting a job. The thing was how I can pay my EMIs. So that is creating a stress level in him. So that is the one thing I keep trying to tell you in these sessions. Let us not reinvent the wheel. Let us try to learn from others and see how we can save when we are earning. We don't know about tomorrow. You have to enjoy today there is no doubt about it but if we are there tomorrow so we prepare for tomorrow also so that is the best way we have to look at across so that is what i am trying to say i am trying to give all the example which is a live example and what i as a personally have done it which i can say i am being independent from the last 15 20 years the same thing you will be able to achieve when you have the simple three or four steps to continue in a life so first and foremost is very, very important is we call smart goals or set the goals. Most of us, we don't set the goals. So smart is like a specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. I can tell you most of us who are attending this or most of us we, we meet, everybody is aware of it. But how much you are implementing is very, very crucial to that. So. Uh, I want to give you the importance on let us think long. Let us try to implement. That is very important. We do uh, for smallest things so much of work, but we are not doing for ourselves long term. If I'm going from Bangalore, let us say, um, Banagata Road or my office to MG Road, what I do? I just take the Google map, try to put this goal where I'm going to achieve or where I'm going to go. And then see the routes. It is 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Is it is it any toll is there or traffic jam is there? Which mode I should go? I should take a public transport or a two-wheeler, auto. There are so many options. So same thing for going from one location to another, which is one year. On an average, our journey is going to be 80 years or from now onwards also 45 to 50 years. Why don't we set a goal to find that? That is very, very important for us to do what we are doing for a short term, for a long term, which is very, very important. So for that, I am just trying to put in one video. Please tell me if you are able to hear. For building a house, it is essential to create a perfect blueprint for the same. Similarly, for building a wealth for you and your family requires you to build a financial blueprint, also known as financial plan. Here are the five steps of building successful financial plan. Planning for uncertainty. First step is to protect yourself from uncertainty by buying required insurance policies to ensure that any uncertainty do not eat up your savings. 
build contingency corpus. Second step is to build contingency corpus up to 6 to 9 months of your monthly expenses. This will protect your long-term investments from the contingencies like loss of job or slowdown in business. Set financial goals. Third step is to set financial goals and find out when and how much money would you require to achieve these financial goals. Create portfolio. Fourth step is to select right asset class and product to invest and to achieve your financial goals based on the time horizon and your risk appetite. Portfolio review. Fifth step is to review your portfolio periodically and do the necessary adjustments into it based on the remaining time period to achieve each goal. To create. So as we saw that thing about the five step of financial planning or you can say financial independence, very, very important is three pillars of the financial planning. All of us have felt, seen, heard, and last few days, I have been hearing quite a lot. We don't know which is true or not. A lot of people, suddenly they are uh, getting a heart attack or they are able to do, they are saying it's a post-vaccine or whatever. I have no idea because there is nothing proof about it. But yes, there are a lot of risk management and uncertainty. So I wanted to give you two stories here. Uh, the person is... Uh, 41 years old, very, very, I can say, uh, athlete, good in sports, doing kickboxing, going for marathon running, cycling. You can think of he's the most fit person I have seen. He does even 100 kilometer uh, running more than a triathlon or something like that. And suddenly he was going for one of those biking, met with an accident and died. Being my neighbor, um, of course, it's very difficult for any situation. I have also, my mom has passed away. Very difficult situation emotionally when you're going through. Suddenly, you realize you are going through a financial crisis also. The spouse doesn't know that what is his income, what is his investment or anything else. When after 30 days, when things got little settled, I started going to how to help. So we are doing uh, digging of the laptop and digging of the files and everything. We realize that he's not taken a term cover. So he's left with his wife, parents, and the two kids. All are dependent to him. And that situation, we really don't know how to give a solution or how to help. And she is, of course, crying and trying to say that you can give me the solution. And that's where we, uh, this job may sometimes satisfy, sometimes very helplessness that we can't give a solution every time because precaution is better than cure. That's the way we are trying to tell people. We don't know how much we required or not. We don't know tomorrow we are going to be there or not. But if we are there or if we are not there, we should be prepared ourselves for our fi family who are dependent on us. The loan is around 1.5 crore. There is no term cover, no income. The investment surplus is so low. And bank is very clear. The bank, the loan has moved to the wife. So that's the first point I wanted to tell all of you. Whoever it is, your family, friend, yourself, please pass this message in case you have any loans, home loan, personal loan, car loan, whatever loans. Minimum take that term cover for that because nobody seen what will happen tomorrow. You don't want your loved ones to go through a financial crisis when they're already going through the lot of emotional. That's the first and foremost part I wanted to put it across. And uh, think that league is, I always tell the people is, all of us have, I was going through last week to one of the corporate for doing a training and I was telling how many of you have a two-wheeler and four-wheelers and how many of us do the car or the scooter insurance? 100% hands up. And when I asked how many of them are having a term cover out of, if I'm not wrong, 38 people, only two people was saying yes. Then I said, why the difference? Our life is a priceless. The scooter and the car is only 10-15 lakhs. And for 10, 15 lakhs, we are spending more than 8 to 10,000 rupees. But when we are priceless, we are not able to spend. And you know what was the answer? 
because the police will catch hold of me. So we were very scared because the policy is made and the police will catch hold, not because we are much, much more priceless. Our family is accountable for. So please try to understand you are as loved, as wanted, and as good for a priceless in your family. So please try to understand in a risk management, please take it your term cover minimum of 50 to 1 crore. And I can tell you the premium of that will be same or almost less depending on your age. When you are young, the same price goes till 70 also the term cover. So it is always good to take a good term cover when you are young. COVID, most of the time we have seen people say, oh, I have a family floater of 5 lakhs. It's good enough. More than that, I don't need. That time we realized it in a, all family member has got it and need a hospitalization and it is too less. Sometimes critical illness is too high. So the good news is nowadays health covers, there are so many where you can take a base policy of 3 to 5 lakhs and top up of 20, 30, 50 lakhs also. Please do that. It's a very reasonable. Your that peace of mind will be able to happen. And I thanks to one of our customer. I'm talking about 2013. That time highest health cover was available 50 lakhs and we took it. And I still remember when we had a COVID. So a lot of time people says, is it sure you have it? And I said, yes, 50 lakhs is a good enough for the floater. So we never have in a mind that yes, if something happened to four of us, what will happen? So at least you are financially independent in your mind. Second thing is contingency plan. Of course, last few days, few of our people, friends has come. This slowdown is a part of our life. Up and down. They always say, no, your lifeline is up and down. When it becomes straight, you are no more. Same thing in a normal way, in a financial way or in a health way. It keeps going up and down. And we have to know how to manage it because if it has gone down, it has to come up. But to make sure when you are down, how to motivate and get up and go up, we should plan ourselves. And that is the one thing we say on a concept level, whatever you're spending in a month, we call a expense for a month, keep at least six months in your debt funds or in our FDs. Last but not the least, have the goals and invest. So what are the normal goals people have? These are, I can say, on an average people have. But all of us are very unique. Our bring and brought ups are different. Our value systems are different. Our, uh, I can say, parenting is different. So lifestyle is also different. So there is another customer long back and came and he said he is earning two crores. So I was thinking, my God, he is earning two crores. What portfolio he will be having it? And when I saw his portfolio, I can bet you that his portfolio was lesser than the person who was earning 20 lakhs. And I was shocked so much more than anybody else. Then I asked, Nakesh, what happened to you? Uh, so much earning, where is the money going? He says, yeah, I was earning so much, so I spent so much. I didn't save. And I was shocked. So I said, there's nothing wrong in spending, but you should... Take care of your at least bare minimum 20%. And the same person, I think so, recently has gone not a good time. And he was telling, Vachna, why you didn't tell me uh, earlier, met me and told me that, that I should invest. I keep telling and that's what it motivates me that I don't want somebody to say because we can't change the past. So I always say is when we have a good time, it's good to enjoy. But don't forget what may happen tomorrow. So make sure at least 20 to 25%, whatever you are earning, you save. And you save and keep for a long. And that's where the lot of time wealth creation start coming young. And that is the concept I wanted to drive everybody is whenever you are earning, Start saving. If you're not saving, that is anyway is gone. I'm not saying that you must have got it as a short term. We call a short term gain versus long term pain. Okay. Because long term you are not finding and that compounding is not coming.
So most of the people, they have a different goals when you make assets, when you're young, you have a house or a nowadays gadget itself is coming so costly nowadays. Then you start, uh, you have a wedding, then it kids, then your kids uh, a lot of time vacation. Trends are changing now. People are wanted a vacation as a higher priority and then education. Medical uh, is very important. Child marriages has become a lower prioritization because child education is becoming a very, very important. What they are thinking that nowadays people wanted to go abroad or even in India, it is taking almost like a 25 lakhs for an education in a graduation. And abroad, it takes two crores. Master is taking, for our daughter, we are paying around 80 lakhs. It's like between 40 to 80 lakhs. Good news is in master's, you may work, you may get scholarship, you may uh, try to stay there and work part-time also. So that's a good news. But yes, you can take a loan. It's also an alternative. Retirement is the second highest uh, goal everybody has uh, after the education. Because none of us are going to get the pension how our parents was getting. So that's where we started. Manoj says that how the money works for us, that works wonderful. So these are the goals. Try start thinking of it. So whenever you start investing, logically, at least we do when we make a financial plan as a mapping, you should also keep in mind this money I'm keeping for the education, this money I'm keeping for car purchase, or this money I'm keeping it for the pension because when you have this you will not withdraw it when you not having it you will just withdraw it and your goals are not achieved so these are the four steps i always say is if anybody follow i am 200 percent uh, guaranteed that you will be able to achieve your financial freedom or financial independence i already spoke about setting the goals very important is all of us have so much knowledge. The importance is how you apply that knowledge into the execution. Without execution, it's only a paperwork. So please try to execute. What do you mean by execute? I know I have to set a goal. I have to invest at least 10,000 rupees per month for this goal. So please set up to have a 10,000 rupees SIP or 10,000 rupees investment, whatever you have thought of. Next is very, very important, which is a very precious thing nowadays. It's called patience. Think long term. We want everything instant. You have put it a WhatsApp or Instagram, some story. You wanted to see how many people liked or not like. You want instant result, instant food. If I have ordered something on Swiggy, we will see five times that, okay, when it is picked or not picked, it is coming or not coming. We want everything instant, but money doesn't grow instantly. Neither it is going to give the result instant. So think money always, it's like a tree. And that will give you the good analogy to understand if I wanted to grow the mango tree, how long it takes to give the proper manure, water, sunlight, grow big tree and then start giving the fruits. So same thing happened financially. You have to keep investing monthly, start helping in a growing, compounding value, and then they start paying you money. Last but not the least, manage the risk. Very important because most of the time people don't understand the risk. They say, yeah, you give me the returns and I can manage the risk and you will surprise to you know that when the market falls even 5% down, they are the first person to come, okay, my portfolio has gone down. Because you have to understand if you're looking for a higher risk, there are times when it will go down, but in the long term, it will get it across. These are the four core attribute or the behaviors we should have to make sure that we are independent. So, to start with anything, it can be a person who is 22 years old earning 10,000 rupees or it is earning 10 crore rupees. Start first to create a good passive investment from a mutual fund. So what is mutual fund? I will put it across.
To measure the velocity of a rocket entering the space, one should know what rocket science is, right? Vese hi, before investing in mutual funds, one should know what a mutual fund is. And believe me, it's not rocket science. Main to saath saal ki umre mein hi samajh gaya tha. Us chocolate box khareedne ke liye mere paas pure paise nahi the. Lekin mere paas ek idea tha. तो मैंने अपने एक फ्रेंड को बुलाया और कुछ पैसे जोड़े बट इवन देन फिर मैंने एक और फ्रेंड को बुलाया और कुछ और पैसे जोड़े और फिर द शॉपकीपर टोल्ड अस टू डिवाइड द चॉकलेट्स प्रपोर्शनेटली वन कॉइन वन चॉकलेट टू कॉइन्स टू चॉकलेट्स थ्री कॉइन्स थ्री चॉकलेट्स एंड दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड Mutual funds has a large number of investors with one common investment objective. This money is then invested in bonds, equities and other securities. The income that is generated is then distributed proportionately amongst all the investors. Isliye to kehte hain mutual funds sahi hai. So when you have starting option is always is a good passive good way of doing is investment it is called sip it's called systematic investment plan uh, i can say it's like a, how your mother and father must have done recurring deposit they put it the money in sb monthly it goes on a specific date and they will get a lump sum money after 2 3 years same thing it works here so you should also do first is whatever your in hand amount coming 20% start investing there and that you should forget for the long term so what are the investment options you can start thinking of physical assets and the financial people in olden times people were doing more on a financial uh, physical assets nowadays these are not so be taken of gold and real estate because as we grow as a developed country it is not giving much so if you see a real estate in 10 15 years in a developed side you will get around 8% same thing 7 and a half on the gold so financial assets is the place where we are growing and that's where the developing side we you will surprise to know that lot of people still have an fd so people will go how you take it long term investment you can get it a good investment on those so please try to do a concept level what and where how much we should invest financially or physically so risk level talks about low and high there is nothing called no by the way very rarely you can say no it's a government bonds uh, otherwise there is a thing always is low lot of people don't know there is a fixed deposit also have the risk if that bank become npa your rbi will give only 5 lakhs and then to that is just came only 2 years back previously it was only 1 lakh so if your fd of i can just giving an example 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs and that bank is not a good bank or they have npas are high and they become npa you will get only 5 lakhs so pf ppf post office all these things will give you approximately 5 to 6% returns so that is called low risk returns low risk returns normally tell you in advance how much returns you will be getting and what is the duration high risk is most of the time is the stock market shares forex trading these are very high risk these you should go only for investing when you are long term at least minimum 7 8 years and this will give you around 12 to 14% returns if it is small cap maximum 17 18 the reason i am saying 17 18 is called year on year xirr cagr kind of thing i can tell you if you are getting a 12 to 14% return itself is very very good so don't chase the returns 3 years we will get we have our pms we have been giving 35 40% and somebody called me rachna i wanted to invest in your pms can you uh, portfolio management services can you just make sure that we get 30% return and i said no please have a nice tea with us and just go i am not going to give you the product he said why why you are not giving i said it's showing about the past 3 years it doesn't say that future 3 years also i'll be giving you 30% returns 
you need to look at longer term and longer term when i'm looking 5 and 10 years it will come back to 15 to 18% return itself so whenever you have please try to see a longer term perspective because most of that market goes 3 5 years up 4 to 5 years up and 4 years 5 years down so giving again example 92 was harshit mehta's scam it went 35% down then you have a dot bust again it is i think so 40 45% return down highest was 58 60% in 2008 and then we had a covid so if you notice that people took a lot of people in fds the best part of us is just give an awareness so the old customer when it went down they said Rashna, i have additional money you invest because they have seen the market cycle whenever it is down you should buy a contarian it will give good but a lot of people of the fear it goes so what happened most of the time these names changed it can be urchin meta.com financial crisis or covid but the market have its own cycles so that's the reason you, when you are doing in a low nobody can time the market so it's a good to average and try long term thinking you will get 12 to 14 percent returns second point is very very important is liquidity so real estate and agriculture land is the one place i have noticed people have most of the very big uh i think the customer we call family office or the people like who's having 100 200 300 crores of money the 90 percent is in real estates and when they wanted a money even 20 30 lakhs they don't have it so try to make sure you should be having a fixed assets not more than 40 percent you should be able to redeem the money or withdraw the money within some time 50 to 55 percent plus in your portfolio long run every time equity always take care so without fail think long you're looking for retirement looking for the kids education invest in the equity side when you're looking for a short term do it in hybrid if you're looking sorry medium in term it's hybrid and short term is in a debt that's what we always recommend and that's what you should do it so somebody came and asked me i should have an advisor or not so i always say is we are like a financial doctors so what we do so when we get a cold cough fever we will just do nowadays dolo has been abused like anything everybody takes dolo for anything it can be painkiller or it can be for a fever or anything but I always say, at least in our house, we will say that, okay, you do gargling, you do steaming, you drink kava or kada kind of it. And make sure that you become all right with the haldi milk in the night. That's a natural petty or dadi ma kinuskit, you can do it. But fourth day or third night, you will say, if it's not coming good, you will go to the doctor. Correct? At least we do it after third day. So this is the time difference between you managing your portfolio versus somebody else. It's the same thing. I always say you start investing and learn and do wherever you are. When your portfolio size become a little big, that time you should have a somebody to help you out because your one mistake can take a little bigger hit in your portfolio. Second thing is when portfolio size is big and things are, may not go right, you become emotional attachment. The difference between you handling your own portfolio versus us is we don't do emotional attachment. If there is a loss, cut the loss, go and next uh, buy yourself something else. But when you are doing, you will always say, no, 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 market will go up. I'll wait and wait. And it goes more and more. We have a one customer uh, having an ESOPs. We gave it was an US ESOPs. It was $168. We gave a trigger and he says, no, no, I am inside. Uh, I know they are doing very good and all. We will wait for it. So he says, no, it is showing a downtrend. So you better do at least 25 to 30% profit booking or you sell it. And they didn't do it. So it went down and down. Then we stopped it. Most of the time our way is to aware and give the execution is in their hand. And then we said, okay, leave it. She came after maybe eight months or nine months and she says, can I sell it? I said, why do you want to sell now? No, it has come to 108. I said, it was 168. Now why are you selling at 108? No, I think so. it's going down. I don't want. So most of the time, the problem when you're managing yourself is a fear and a greed. 
so investment independence is in your emotions how you handle your fear and greed if you have taken care of those two you have done the 90% of the battle yourself so any time you have a goal time and risk you should know before you invest even 10000 rupees however you have to make sure that what investment this is going to it's for 3 years 3 to 8 years or greater than 8 years what is the time you are looking and what is the risk you are doing because according to risk you will be choosing the fund so let us have a small video which talks about type of funds in a multilingual country like india cricket is a common language 1.3 billion people speak but do you know this most revered sport in india has many similarities with investments let us have a look can you imagine a team of only batsmen never right we need a perfect blend of batsmen bowlers and fielders to win the match similarly to succeed in the game of investment diversification is the only winning strategy just like a balanced team we need a balanced portfolio to give us better returns we can't hit the boundary on every delivery singles are just as important as boundaries similarly we should invest in debt and equity equity provides us high returns when the market is good and debt provides us consistent returns when the market is tight interesting isn't it based on time there are three different formats of cricket and we select players based on their track record for each format similarly we have different investment horizons whether short or long term we must select funds according to our goals only lastly just like a captain is necessary to lead the team similarly we should have a professional so i'll just show you the calculator please let me know if you are able to see Can you see my Excel? Yes. Yeah. So this is my best calculator because most of the time, when I speak with lot of people and we make a plan, they will say yes, I will invest, but they think that is not a higher priority, and they will not able to invest. So let us say somebody is investing a five thousand rupees for ten years, expected return. We have taken twelve percent. but that person has not invested in the 5 years so you will realize it the when the maturity happened the value he must have got it around 11 lakhs but he delayed it he got it only 4 lakhs the cost of delay is 7.4 which is almost you can say around 65% so cost of delay is too much the time is very important because time is the money and i can say we called as a eighth wonder of the world is power of compounding so power of compounding when i show the graph to the lot of people it started only after 12 years otherwise it be very narrow and 12 years it becomes so much of gap sometimes your profit is more than what your net investments are even in my case itself my net investments are now negative than the my positive portfolio itself means i have redeemed so much of fund but still i have so much of profit so over the period it makes lot of wonders so something we have to be very clear i have never stopped my sip from 94 onwards the time i have started working i never stopped it of course i have keep increasing because your percentage of salary increase so your sip increases and i am been doing from the day one of course 20% and above uh, also so these are the different calculator where i'll be sending across with uh, sanjay will be sending across a video so you can do here how much money you want for a your dream it can be a house or a vacation or it can be uh, just for a retirement and how many years you wanted to uh, invest or expected returns you can write it here so if you wanted a 1 crore after 10 years expected 12% returns you have to just invest 43000 per month this is the calculator which is talking about a different in a expectation versus inflation linked where we are just talking about i have 
the investment where I will do 5,000, 10, expected return is 6, but inflation is there. So how much actually I paid? This is the most wonderful months, which I always tell, try to do SIP for a lifelong till you stop it. And you will be surprised to know that 10,000 rupees you are doing per month, four or 10 years, for example, and for 15 years, 15% or 10%, you will get around 20 to 25 lakhs. So these are the things which should come into over the period where I can tell you how you are. So somebody has put it across, let us say 15,000. You for keeping for 20 years, 14, you are getting almost two crores. And this, when I send it across, people always say, yeah, it is so good. But I know people when suddenly they required even for smallest money, even two lakhs, Rachna, you redeem it. And then they say it didn't come. So I said, when you're investing, the power of compounding come when you don't remove in between also. There is, of course, child and education uh, retirement planning is also there. But I will stop it here with an SIP and I'll go back to this because this is like a miracle happening where you will always able to make sure that you can achieve whatever you want. You're back to the uh, PPT. Can you just tell me? You're able to see? Yes, can you see my presentation? So this is a very easy way. Nowadays, one crore doesn't have so much value. So somebody asked me, why don't you give it for 10 crores? I said, wow, that's a nice way. So what? So here you can try to understand the depiction on if you start young, how much the power of compounding works. If you are 25 or 30, let us say, you have to just invest 30,000 rupees till your age of 60, you will be getting 10 crores. Okay, the same thing you have investment, how much? One crore, but you are getting a 10 crore. So that is the one thing we have to realize that power of compounding works when your time is higher, the duration is longer. That work is like a eighth wonder. Don't allow not to skip that. Try to learn from others. Very important part to make sure that you continue that discipline. And that discipline is always, I feel, is very tough. I am been doing a woman coaching one to one for five women because I thought I wanted a woman independence to do it. And those kids, uh, women are between twenty to forty. You will surprise to know I did first two times, and I asked them a simple question to write the budgeting. Budgeting is how much they are spending and how much they are earning. Out of five, only one was able to write. Because when we don't write only income and expense, how we will know how where we are going wrong and how we can take care. So something comes with the discipline and thanks to my parents. My dad was in army, so discipline was in blood and it worked very wondered. So this happened to us. Of course, it went to the next generation. I told my daughter also to write. When she was in a degree, I just uh, told, I used to give her pocket money around 2000 and I said, you should write it. And then only I'll give the next 2000. And she came herself and saying that, Mama, my so much money is going in a taxi. So I'll go for the share taxi. And still she said next two months, it's still going very high. So she said, okay, let me try how to do a public transport and try to reduce. Because when we know where we are spending, you analyze and you become a better Discipline and patience and investment goes better. So that's the one way I always believe long-term thinking with a discipline investing will sure shot you will achieve your dream. And I'm sure you will have much more to give back to society and charity also. So this is my one of the favorite ones, which says that successful investing takes time, discipline and patience. No matter how great the talent and effort Something just take time. So you can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. So I have already taken uh, goal setting. This is the second uh, best I love. Someone is sitting in your shade today because someone else has planted the tree long time ago. So we have to always understand 
that how we have to wait for a uh, long term to have tree to grow then only you will get a fruit and the shades so this is the power of compounding what i'm talking this is the second last before i take the questions chinese bamboo is the world's tallest grass which goes up to as high as 80 to 90 feet in a little over 5 years when you sow the seed and start watering and nurturing it daily, you don't see it growing for five years. It would be frustrating, isn't it? But wait, miracle happens after five years. It grows from zero to 80 feet in less than 90 days. Similarly, growing well through SIP also requires a lot of patience. Had you started an SIP of rupees 10,000 in September 2010 in large cap fund, the value of your total investment of 3.6 lakh rupees would have been 3.57 lakh rupees after three years. Had you stopped an SIP, this temporary loss would have been permanent loss. But had you continued an SIP at the end of the fourth year, your value of total investment of 4.8 lakh rupees would have been 6.95 lakh rupees. And if your SIP still continues till March 2019, the value of total investment of rupees 10.3 lakhs would have been 17.38 lakh rupees. Remember, correction is temporary, growth is permanent. So continue your SIP for long term to create wealth. Mutual fund investment. So these are the takeaways before I take the questions. Try to set your goals. Have mid, long, short uh, goals because fund selection depending on that. This is, I want to stress very high when I speak a lot of people I meet. That's my best job of it because I love meeting people. They always say, no, I have somebody has missold me. I have gone wrong. I don't have money. I... There are so many questions keep coming. And this question says, no, that banker was there. This told me and I just signed it. So my thought is always to the people is you are in the best era of you can do Google search, chat GPT, whatever you want. I know I'm not saying they are right or wrong. I cannot speak about somebody, but it is the best thing is always do a Google search, understand the product and then invest. After investing, you are the as responsible than other person. Most of the time, people don't uh, do. I have another person, he says, my friend has told me to invest in crypto and he did a one crore and he becomes zero. And I said, maybe you must have asked or gone through it. It doesn't say that I'm getting 5x, 10x and 15x and your principal is gone. So your friend have a different, uh, maybe the money or portfolio than you. You should not do the same as your friend. So I'm just trying to say his friend doesn't have intention that to make it. But he told what he felt right. But he didn't understand that person is how good it is. So sometimes greed, I have seen many, many people, greed have made people zero, even principal. So we should know what is my greed level or goal achievement. I always say is you should look more on a goal achievements than a greed. So if I'm taking, I have to go to the Delhi and I'm taking a ticket to Delhi. Even the train goes till the Jammu Kashmir. I don't have to go because the train will go to the Jammu Kashmir. When Delhi comes, I'll get down. Correct? The same thing I'm investing for my retirement, for my kids' education. When kids' education came, I took the money. I'm happy-go-lucky. I don't have to see the market is gone 30% or 50%. With my 12% return, I'm able to achieve. I'm happy with it. So don't gamble so much. So I'm not saying it's a gamble is good or word is good or not, but I'm trying to say most of the people, only two things makes the people portfolio good or bad when they're not able to do a greed and the fear. And believe me or not, most of the advisor, their work is only three things to make them people educate, aware and try to balance their greed and the fear. That's it. Of course, the rest of the work is being done by the what is asset allocation, see the funds and all. But emotions are very, very important. Take the smart investment decision. Invest now. There's okay if I lost past. There's nothing wrong. We have to see the future. 
it's okay to start looking for the long term make sure you have understood the risk and do it most of the people didn't realize that this investment have to pay yearly or it's a one time what this investment linked to the goal don't bother about what whatsapp says or a tv says or my friend says everybody is different think twice write yourself if you want ask some advisor or do yourself good research take it because you are giving your hard earned money so without fail make sure have a good risk management 100 minus your age is equity that's a good way to go good health cover i always believe minimum 15 to 20 lakhs you should take contingency track your investment normally i do once a year most of the people but maximum you should do twice in a year so one girl came to me and she says i have a mobile app and i see he at least twice and thrice in a day and i feel very bad it's not doing and i was thinking myself why somebody will see three times in a mobile to see that mutual fund when the nav only comes once in a day and you feel bad and stressed about it you are doing this investment for the maybe 3 years 5 years you don't have to look every day so don't increase your stress when you don't have to increase the stress be happy enjoy your independence i'll be happy to take any questions sanjay thank you ming thank you for sharing the valuable insights i think we are already having few queries in the q and a chat box but uh, it's too long can you read because i i will be reading out we might lose the sync sanjay i'm not able to hear you i'm not even on this yeah Archit, I will ask my research team. Uh, please give the email ID and let us know. We have already made those graphs on the currency, real estate, and the gold. Uh, they will be able to give you the uh, detailing part of it. So it's not fair for me to explain because that is a easier and a research data with the graphs it will be coming to cross. Hmm? Um. Satyan has told after retirement at the age of forty where to invest fifty lakhs to regular income of fifty thousand per month. What is the high risk appetite? So I always says whatever is your retirement uh, corpus. I normally do at eight uh, percent returns divided by twelve, and that's the way I do it. So you should divide fifty percent in a debt side and fifty percent in equity. Make sure you get the inflation link. so what i am talking about it was a more on inflation linked regular income and rebalance every 5 years well we have uh, one or two questions in the chat box also so yeah so i'm just looking the chat box now our uh, retirement plan is required with insurance cover See retirement plan is I I am assuming you are talking about regular income plans like uh, all those last three years it has come very well I love those personally till date we are just finishing twenty years in right horizons we don't have a single fund which we have not taken on personal portfolio and given to the customer so we normally like those because it was gone till six point five percent return tax free. why somebody so when i have given a retirement plan to anybody i didn't give because of insurance cover i gave it because it's a tax free so it's very important to have a tax free long term investments so any investment we do we will just see what is a post tax and post inflation and those retirement plan was giving you post inflation post tax for longest time and that's why those were good without that it is become taxable which is called annuity plans and they were not giving you the good uh, we called yield or whatever returns kind of it is it mutual fund is risk proof no it is not at all risk proof they have a risk but they have a different types of mutual fund you have a debt mutual fund you have balance and equity the risk profile goes down debt funds we can say risk profile is maybe um, below 5% most of the time they don't go down until unless we have one or two times where we saw the frankel templeton issues happen but most of the time 
um, SEBI has become much tighter after that. And it is below 5 or below 3% risk in the debt mutual funds. Is it good option to invest in IPO? Those days are gone. If you see 80% of an IPOs are negative. So most of the time, people are not being going for an IPOs. But if you are looking for long term, you can do it across. So other questions I don't have. I have a mother student. Just because Sensex and Nifty stock is on the top, does that mean the economy goes well? Still, we see not even 10% pay tax or ITR, hardly 7 crores. What? It's just 6 to 7% of the population really don't. So it's a very, very different approach by itself. Um, I think so it's a more of a macroeconomics or talking about political side. Yes, I do agree. Sometimes I also feel pay the taxes are imposed and been increased quite a lot but let me tell you this question has been coming quite high we are now almost all time high and every day is a history creation when we cross so i asked our research team also on the same question so this is they don't see the value that we are crossing 65 68 or 20000 going to be nifty or whatever they always say the valuation so valuation of the company actually tells that we should invest or not so the PE of uh, now Nifty and all is only 23. So till 28, it's good to invest. So most of the time, that's the way we should look at and see that try to invest now because we believe that next 10 years is going to be the multi bull run in India. In any angle you can think of, I have been because of my daughter going across in a different countries. I can tell you the people who have gone, including Singapore uh, just now, people don't have a jobs. People don't have, even after going for higher education, recessions are going on. But in India, a lot of people who have done, I'm talking about the education kids sides or the young kids uh, side, they're able to at least get the basic work and the, uh, I can say the job kind of it. So, the our population average is 27 so you can think of a person who is 27 at least will work next 20 years so economy will anyway will work very good so that's the best way i can think of whoever have the good money please try to invest keep it for long you will get i'm sure the all time or uh, memories you will create it can you buy the stock like MF? Yes, there are many places people do. Even in our PMS, we do one lakh and above SIPs. Yes, it goes that way. You can do it. Um, if I invest 50 lakhs in PMS, it's good to retire person. Uh, I will not say that, but we have a PMS where we have a hybrid funds. So we didn't allow us to use word retirement fund. So our most of the corporate retirement customers, they get the corpus of PF, PPF, EPF retirements. They give it across lump sum. We give it them into the balance fund, which is 50% equity and 50% debt, where we give the regular payout, which is inflation linked till they are 85. So most of our corporate people who have retired or so-called retired from the corporate life, they get regular income on that basis yes um should one uh invest foreign stock through etfs see we are very very bearish about the u.s market and we think they are having the downturn for the next decade it's not only for recession or it stocks we feel that they were actually bullish for the last almost 10 to 15 years so any market has gone so high will fall and that's one of the reason because US will fall, we will also may have a one small correction. But yes, we as of today, Indian market is the best. So a lot of people of our customers who have an ESOP in US, we are asking them to actually uh, take a, uh, some percentage and invest in India.